Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and before I show you guys this share code, please like this video. Did you like it? Great. Here's my share code and thank you for liking this video. This is my golden all-wheel drive drift tune and it is an absolute beast. I called it golden because it is the best of the best. Um, out of like the car manufacturers that I drift to daily. Um, this is the best Lamborghini I've ever tuned. Ever. All of, out of all of my Lamborghinis on this game, this is my favorite. Th this thing is super smooth and I can't wait to share it with you guys. This thing has a stock engine. It's got, on, it's got snow tire compound. Drift suspension. Let's get into it. It's an S1900, so you can take it into the open drift lobbies. And so on and so forth. Like I said, it's got the stock powertrain in there, so you can open up the engine compartment and look inside and see all the goodies, the carbon fiber, etc., etc. It's got the stock drivetrain all-wheel drive. It's got a twin turbo with anti-lag. It's got nothing in the front, but this is what it would look like. Not much. Nothing in the rear, but this is what it would look like. There's no wide body kit for this car, and I'm pretty sure it'd be amazing looking if it did. But it is what it is. Like I said, we got a snow tire compound. We got stock width in the front and stock width in the rear to maximize that slide. We are using a heavier rim. We're using the AF-118s. That's just so I can add more power to the vehicle and other items. We just got a regular track width for the front and the rear. I didn't see a need to putting them on there. So I didn't. And sometimes I feel like it messes with your, uh, your points and when you're drifting and going sideways and, and, and the control of the car sometimes. Either way, it's got a 10-speed transmission to handle all that power. All right, but when you see the graph, it's it's not all the way to the end. It, it's it's properly tuned. It does it only have a sport drive line? It does not have the carbon fiber. If I tried to use it, it would have took me up to an S2 class 901 right there. So sport drive line, it was. It's got a drift differential. It's got drift springs and dampers. It's got anti-roll bars for both the front and the rear, just to save some weight, but I do have the numbers in there. There is no roll cage in this thing, just to save weight, but it does have the race weight reduction, and we're saving 405 pounds. Nice thing is, this thing has all the engine upgrades except the flywheel. The flywheel is stock. Okay, so all that gives you the max power of 1153 or 1153 like i said it's just got the stock flywheel now this thing has an amazing car mastery whole bunch of stuff i mean look you got 10,000 xp there you got some wheel spins and a super wheel spin right there so you could really make some money back uh well actually i mean you get the car so you it's all free money really if you really think about it it's all free money and you get 25,000 credits right there just for getting the car a lot of the cars you don't even get that you might get a thousand five thousand but not twenty five thousand that's pretty impressive and here is my tune and it gets a zero to sixty in under four seconds all right so we got 55 and 55 to maximize that slide gearing like I said it's got a 10 speed transmission but it only goes to here it doesn't go all the way up to 246 doesn't need to um, I, I have the 10-speed so I can really work the gears, get them really close to each other, um, really work them out and see what I really need and what I don't need. Here's the alignment I decide to throw onto the car. But I don't think this is the star of the show. I think the star of the show is actually in the differential. All right, the answer roll bars. I decided to just go with 1660. It was just a random number and it works. Um, I thought if I went all the way up to 65 and 65, it basically would break and just not work. Like the, like the numbers just wouldn't work. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to put it down to 1660. Why not? I'm a tuner. That's what I do. I tune. 
All right, springs, I decided to go as soft as possible, 375 and 375.5 for both of them. And then I had the right height maxed out to four and four. And I really just did that to use the body roll of the vehicle to drift the turns. It really does help. And the extra, uh, you know, high right height really helps when you're dealing with curbs in the, in the towns and, ex and all that are jazz. Um, because, you know, if you have a too low of a car and you hit a curb, your car acts up, you, you end up wrecking, etc., etc. So by raising up the car, it makes it a lot smoother to handle those situations. Dampening is 20, 1, 20, and 20. All right. No downforce to worry about. Brakes are just 50 and 100. And then the star of the show, I believe, is right here on the center balance. Now, I worked this number all over the place. I tried uh, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81. I tried 98%. Uh, I tried 71%. And I went right back to 86. And I started working with that. And I went down to, down to 80. Went back up to 81, 83. 83 was perfect. Um, it, it's better than 84 and better than 82. I found the perfect number for this car, and it is an absolute beast. This is my favorite Lamborghini in the whole entire game right now, just because of this. I, well, just, just in general, it's just an amazing car. I don't know why it's such an amazing car, but it's blowing my mind, and I had to share it with you guys. And that's the build, that's the tune to my golden all-wheel drive drift tune. Now we'll take her out and have some fun with her. Takes off pretty easily. I mean, it, it's such a smooth drifter. It really is. I love this thing. A lot of the Lamborghinis have been difficult to tune. And I've always thought that I was the Lamborghini king when it comes to tuning because they, they're difficult to tune. They're flat and they're wide. And what does that all stand? Grip. They are grip monsters. Because they are low, wide, and have some extreme downforce on them. They're, they're just extreme vehicles. They are. There are a lot of people online tonight. That's a beautiful car. Super smooth. My favorite. You're like, King Potch, what's your favorite car? This car. This car right here, this Lamborghini right here is my favorite car. I love the paint that they able to give me. Uh, I love this yellow. I, I think it's more like a canary uh, matte yellow, I would say. It is gorgeous. It really is. I do love, you know, cars with um, bright colors. I own, a, I own an orange Subaru. All right. I love bright colored cars. I like to stand out in parking lots so I can find it, the car with ease. It's like, oh, yeah, I see my car. It's over there. I wasn't paying attention there. Either way, it still pulled through, still gave me a nice little 38 there. I'll take it. Engine's great though. Um, as you can tell, it has eight pounds of boost. It's not too bad, so the lag is very mem. Mem. And here's the gears. Let's go through all the gears. There's fifth. There's sixth. Six is really good right there. There's seventh. Eighth. Yep. Doesn't redline. Nine. Right around 9,000 RPMs, and we're at the end, and around 9,000 RPMs for that, too. So they don't redline. They work. Absolutely beautiful. Love this thing. And he probably loved it, too. Absolutely 
absolute blast to drive. Oh, this is so fun. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out this car. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, hey, let's go in and check out the engine bay and all that other stuff. Look at that. People want to play with me. Aw. Oh, it's that guy. You know, I'm famous around here. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta let him know. Gotta let him know. I'm sure he already knows. I'm pretty sure. I mean, out of all the other people. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But hey, you, you can look at everything in here. I mean, it's got a nice, you know, frunk, you know, size in there. You know, you, you can put some bags in here. It's great. And then let's look at the beautiful doors. Ah, love it. Beautiful suede interior. It absolutely looks beautiful. All the stitching. Mm. And then here, yeah, you can open it up. And I said, oh, look at all this carbon fiber. I, you get deep, deep into the carbon fiber with this with this engine bay. Oh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And you can open up the spoiler in the back. So much to do with this vehicle. Ah, oh, I love these. So now, can I get in? There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. I had a duck to get in, which would be normal since I'm six foot three. I would have to you know, wiggle my way in there. And then, of course, the start button's over here. Oh, yeah. Mm. She's mean. Well, I mean, she's a bull. Bulls are mean. In certain situations. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, jump into a field and, you know, find out. <laughs> you know, uh, you can go ahead right away, you know, but uh, yeah, uh, bulls are mean. Oh, I love this thing. Oh, it's super, super sliding. Super sliding. Has no problem kicking that back end out. It, it's perfect enough that 83%. I don't know what's so good about that number. But it works. And I couldn't be more proud of this tune. Super smooth. Makes it all the way over here. Super duper smooth. Look at that. Ah. It is golden. Indeed. Hit the brake there a little bit. I haven't really had any lag issues with this car not really any here let's try to give it some lag there not too bad there it is there's just a little bit right there but it wasn't too bad and it took right off you know that that's the downside of you know turbos but i mean hey and it's a wide car did you just see me struggle just a little bit with that that tight turn that's because of the car itself. It is what it is. You know, Lamborghinis are some of the hard, hardest vehicles to tune in any of the Forzas. They've always been that way. But I think my tunes have really opened them up to the possibilities that they can be actual great drift cars. And I'm very proud of that. Well, anyways, guys and girls thanks for watching and uh, i really hope you guys enjoy this car as much as i do and girls uh yeah the best lamborghini i've ever tuned to date best lamborghini i absolutely love this thing and i can't wait to take it into the open drift lobbies and showcase how beautiful she really is. Until next time, stay sideways, my friends.